Hello, and welcome to another Hexum tutorial. Today we're looking at Translate My Store and Currency, also known as TMS for short. But more specifically, we're looking into how to set up regions, currency, and languages in Shopify markets. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our languages in Shopify admin. So first let's go to settings, and on the left side we can find languages. So on this page we can see that our default language is English, and this can be changed right here. And we can also see our translated languages. So here we have French as a published language. So in order to add more languages, let's go to the top and add language. So first we're going to add Spanish. And we're also going to add German. So if we scroll down, we can see our unpublished languages. We have German and Spanish. Let's publish both these languages. Great, so now we have Spanish and German available. Now let's go to the new Shopify markets feature. This can be found on the left side right here. Currently, we only have Canada as a market, so let's go down here and add a market. This market name is going to be Eurozone, and we're going to be adding the regions France, Germany, and Spain. So let's click here. There's France, Germany, and Spain. And click Done. There we go. And let's save. So now that we have our Eurozone market, let's go down to our domains and languages and configure the languages. Down here at the bottom, we can add German and Spanish. And we already have English and French available. So let's save and go back. And next is our currency and pricing. Let's go into manage. As you can see, it's currently set to our default currency, the Canadian dollar. So let's change that to Euro. And there it is and save. There we go. Now our currency is set up as well as our different languages. So now we can go back into our Canada market and we can see that the languages are still set to English and French, as well as the currency being the Canadian dollar. So this market didn't get affected. So now we're done in the Shopify admin and let's go back to TMS. So now that we're back in TMS, let's go to the left hand side and go to the regions and languages page. The most important part of this page is the sync button right here. So if you made changes in your Shopify market, but you don't see the updated information here, we suggest clicking the sync button. So let's go ahead and do that. And now everything should be up to date. And so continuing, we can see our Canada market has only the Canada region, it's using Canadian currency, and it has English and French. And then our market that we just created, the Eurozone, we can see France, Germany, and Spain, all of them using Euro. And we can see our new languages, Spanish and German, were only added to the Eurozone. They weren't added to the Canadian market. So let's look at the rest of this page. We can see our default language is English, and continuing, we can see our translated languages. As you can see, this part looks a lot like Shopify admin, and it actually works the exact same as well. So let's give an example. Let's add a language. So we're going to be adding Italian and add. So because we added Italian, it's starting off as an unpublished language. And so if we want Italian available in our shop, we can publish. And there we go. As you can see, Italian was automatically added to all of our different regions. Just like before on the Shopify markets page, we can go back and customize which languages are available for which markets. But for this example, we're going to be going down, unpublishing Italian, and we could scroll down. And when languages are unpublished, they are available to be deleted. And this will delete all of your Italian translations. So let's go ahead. And there we go. And the last option on this page is previewing. So if I click this, it'll bring us to our French version of our shop. But at this point, we figured out how to set up our market with our languages and currency. So we're all good to go. Well, thank you very much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions.